Hey everybody, it's Sarge, and welcome to episode number 16 of the Mercenary Tanks Tech Tree Showcase. Today, we're looking at the final tier 6 tank. It's a heavy, and it's the long reach. The skills that we have on our commander are six cents. Situational awareness, camouflage expertise, born leader, rapid loading, steady aim, run and gun, snapshot, and rapid aim. The equipment that we're running is advanced optics, advanced loader, improved ventilation, and enhanced targeting information. We took this tank into battle 84 times. We were above average in our win rate at 57% and also in our survival rate at 33% and we had a 72% mark of excellence. The armor on this tank is pretty good. You've got some big old thick hunks of steel serving as 38 millimeters of spaced armor that cover the front lower plate and the side tracks. Most of the hull is 60 millimeters all the way around. A lot of the front of the tank is 100 millimeters of armor, but the thickest part of the entire tank is the front face at 152 millimeters, so don't be afraid to go haul down. Here is your detailed look at the long reach's numbers, with no commander or equipment added to the tank. Long reach brings together the best of British, German, and Soviet engineering, and can unleash impressive firepower. All right, we're on Conus. We're gonna run all the way up the zero line and see if we can make it to the city. Let's get this slow, heavily armored little tank going. It's not too bad, it's a pretty good tank. It's got 38 kilometers an hour of speed, which isn't bad, but it's got a big old honking 122 millimeter gun. For a tier six, that's pretty nice. The gun is derpy though. The reload time's starting out 16 seconds. We got ours down to about 13 seconds. And your accuracy is a .48, which is not good. And your aim time is a slow 3.6 seconds. But we're going to be running the APCR Premium Ammo. It's got a pen of 217 millimeters, which is about 50 millimeters more than the Alpha Ammo. So there's no sense in not using it. And it's APCR, so you should have some pretty good luck with it. It's got a velocity of about 975, which is faster than the Alpha Ammo. But... It'll hit for 390 hit points, which is pretty good. The main thing that hurts this tank is the accuracy and the aim time and only having three degrees of gun depression. But other than that, <laughs> it's an okay tank. Let's get up here and peek around the corner, see if anybody's YOLO one or pushing or pressuring or anything. Might be some TDs down there sniping. We've got a, looks like a scorpion on the hill right there. Might be able to help us spot anybody that's out there. We're not seeing anybody. Let's go ahead and push on up to the left. T-34 right there covering down for us. There's a shot that came there. Somebody's down there. We're just not seeing him. T-34, 85, Mike. Says he's reloading. Oh, there we got an M4, A3, E2. Snap, pow. Low roll of 355. We're looking for 390 or higher. T-34 is wearing them out. I don't think we're going to get a second shot. There's an OI. Look at the gun go up in the air. Holy cow. Can we get an aim, aim, aim? Pow. 405. That was a good one. That was a high roll. Long reload. Look at the gun go so high in the air, just coming around a flat surface. Can we get a KO? Oh, what was that? 182. That was a big time low roll. That was like a 50%. <laughs> Alright, we got an RD over here. We got a heavy tank. A OI Express. Look how big that aiming reticle is. What do we got? We got a VK-30 up on the hill. Take a quick snapshot while we're on the move. We missed it. Let's keep pushing. Let's get under their guns. Ooh, big broadside of that OI. We got a good chance of getting a KO here. Pow! Very nice. I'll take that. All right, what's VK doing? He's going to come around. He's going to try and shoot us from behind. Oh, he shot somebody else. Get it, get him. Got him. 335. 335. All right. <laughs> what do we got? We got a Sioux 152. 639 hit points. That's a lot of hit points. Let's get him for 400. Can we get a quick snapshot into there? And pow. Oh, no, it missed. 
Oh, jeez, Louise. Accuracy on this tank, not too good, even up close. Three seconds till we hopefully get a shot into him. Stay alive, one second, and pow. Got him. Got him, got him. All right. Somebody's got a lock on us. That means somebody's over by the city. I wonder if they got anybody AFK at the spawn. Oh, there's a TD right there. 360 on the archer. We can one-shot him quite easily. Oh, he's lost half his health to the light tank. Look like the light tank rammed him. And the light tank shot him. Stay alive, archer. I want to get you. Oh, nope. <laughs> Six to five. We're up by one. They keep capping and uncapping the base, I think. So let's go around here. What do we got? What do we got? There's a TOG 2 on the green team. That's not looking too good. He's probably DRT. Dead right there. I don't expect him to survive much longer. Light tank's going to rope-a-dope him. A PZ4 hotel. Let's get a shot into the PZ. Aim left. Lead the shot. Got him. Very nice. Let's take a shot into that EBR. EBR. It's a tier 765 battle. We're middle tier. Eric, quick lead shot into the EBR. Pow! Oh, come on! All right, let's get the IS. Five to four. Five green, four red. Look at the gun on this. It is a tough gun to use. One second till we get a KO. Woo-wee! That almost missed. That went a little bit wide right. We need to get a shot into that EBR. We're up by two. But we have an AFK medium tank at the spawn, so we're basically only up by one. Let's see. Let's see if we can help reset the spawn, reset the cap. Somebody, oh, yep, light tank is gone on the green team. They've got an M6 heavy tank. Let's see if we can get the gun down quick enough to get a quick snapshot into him. He's only 100 meters away. There's a medium tank right there. That's probably the Rudy. He pens us. Oh, we missed the M6. M6 bounces off of us. Rudy's hiding. He's scared. M6 is not penning us. Let's take a long aim. Get it in there. We got him. There's the Rudy. Sneaking and peeking. He's definitely got the capability to outmaneuver us. So. The EBR is right behind us. Over there, rope a dope in the, the uh, green tank destroyer. I'm going to guess, if I was a bet, man, that Rudy is going to run and hide and wait for the end of the battle. He is going to run as fast as he can. He's putting the spurs to it. He's slapping that thing saying, please go, please. Because he knows we can probably one-shot him. If not, two-shot him quite easily. Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. Let's go see if we can help the tank destroyer. Oh, that EBR. He's only got 208, 262 health. He should be off the board. That shot we took at him looked like a good penetrating shot. But it did not. RNG said no. <laughs> so let's go ahead and push around here. So it's pretty much me versus an EBR and a Rudy. Rudy's two shots, EBR's one shot. We got to get three shots off. Somebody's spotting us. Man, we're spending a lot of fuel driving around here looking for these hiders. thinking maybe come around the hill back into a nook and a cranny somewhere maybe try and get a little bit safe both of those tanks are going to be running premium so they're gonna they're gonna pen us quite easily looking for the arty to cover us but the arty is moving a little bit so that tells me he's been detected it looks like he's trying to hide behind the medium tank back there We're not going to detect them first. Our detection radius is not strong with this tank. The only benefit we got is a hard-hitting derpy gun and some pretty decent armor. Let's back it into the corner here and just wait, see who comes around. There's the EBR. He's got the arty and the medium tank. So that's two kills for the EBR coming up. Got the arty. There's the Rudy. Yeah, he's going to hide. 
He's a professional hider. He finds him something and he gets behind it. So we're just going to have to sit here and wait. The Rudy and the EBR are probably going to come around and rope a dopus. So 2,673 damage. We bounced only 230. So a lot of people were penetrating us. And we got 15 assists. <laughs> You never know. That 15 assists could make the difference between an ace and a first class. Yeah, there goes Rudy. Run, Rudy, run! He'll go all the way around, come up behind us. EBR is going to come at us from the front. We can't divide our fire. We've got to try and focus on one tank. So hopefully we can get a shot into the EBR, KO him, and then get a reload in before the Rudy comes up behind us. There's EVR. And he's hugging a tree back there behind the house, behind the rock, behind the building. Let's see if he comes out all herky jerky. I doubt if we can pen him. The velocity's not the greatest. It's 900, 975, I think I said. There he is. Oh, that round came out slow. We were pre aimed and waiting, but the round came out late. And there's the Rudy right behind us, right on time, just like expected. He ammo racks us. Pow. Got him for 403. Tracked him. And that's it. That's it. Oh, well. Pretty good battle. 3,076 damage. We only bounced 230. We had 15 assists. We got defeated. Let's see here. We did get six kills. 3,076 damage. Oh, we got an ace tanker. Woo. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> ace tanker. High caliber. Top gun. One marked it. Pretty good, 1150 XP, but it was an ace and a loss. I'll take that, baby. Not a bad little tank.